Hey church, uh, great time for a weekly devotion. I've been in Daniel, and uh, if you haven't been able to follow along, go to our YouTube channel, Love of Christ Church, where you can get on our Facebook page and go back and look at other posts. Uh, hopefully it's encouraging to you. I'm not going to summarize, we're getting so long in this thing, but Daniel had an amazing difference about him, a lifestyle that allowed and promoted God to send angels to protect him. You remember when he went into the lion's den, the king came the next day, he was down there safe and without harm. And we've been going through all the different things, how he resisted culture and he had a pure heart and <clears throat> he had a personal relationship with this God. Well, today we're going to go into one more scripture, verse chapter 6 of Daniel, verse 23. Let me read it to you. It says, the king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in God. You see, Daniel trusted in God. In other words, he had a rooted trust in God, one that is unmovable. There, his trust was ultimate, total. It didn't matter what happened, what came down, no matter what kind of persecution, no matter what type of attack and accusations that came against him, no matter what people said about him, no matter what he found himself in, his trust was in God. And that's how come he, he reveals at this end how he came out of that lion's den. And it goes on in verse 24 and it says, at the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den. Oh man, but look what it says, along with their wives and their children, which is so sad. We don't understand that. But it said, before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Now, <clears throat> I really believe that God put that in there for several reasons. And there's one of them is he wanted to show, without a doubt, this was a miracle. That these lions were not just sitting around and they were too full and they were too kind and they weren't, you know, lions that were good for the... No, these lions had been trained to do this and over and over and that's what they were used for. <clears throat> and they were supernaturally kept from harming Daniel. And we see it because when those other people went in there, they were crushed. And that's what God is saying to our enemies in the spirit, that he will crush the enemies of the devil he will provide protection around us. <clears throat> and that's what Daniel received. He received this amazing protection from harm. And that's what I pray for your lives. That's what I'm praying. That, oh God, we trust in you and surround us with your angels, surround our homes, our businesses, every part of it. But also when you look at him, he had this peace in his life. In the midst of this crisis, Daniel, because he trusted God, he had peace. It didn't matter. And that's what God wants for you. I know this is a stressful time in the economy and our jobs and, oh, so many things and sicknesses and stresses and families. Oh, man, you know, it's, it's all, all experiencing and to some. It's, it's very tragic, overwhelmingly tragic. But God wants you to know in the midst of that, you can have peace. Just trust him. And remember that at the end, when you trust him, God's going to take all the accusers of the enemy, that's what it says the devil is, <clears throat> and destroy them. You know, when I think about that, this unmovable trust that protects us, when this thing first broke out, coronavirus, there was a lot of people that were praying Psalms 91. Y'all know that. You know, and it says, you know, and, you know I, <clears throat> I will be there. But I remember looking at this and thinking, well, let's, let me see this. And look at the reason why Psalm 91 works. Not because we pray it, but because we believe and trust in God. It says in Psalm 91 verse 2, I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. And He will cover you over with His feathers under His wings and you'll find refuges. And His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. And a rampart means a defensive wall to protect you. You see, we pray in Psalm 91. We want Psalm 91 because we're afraid. But what God is saying, all you got to do is trust. That the key to Psalm 91 is trust. Trust enough to declare it. Trust enough to walk it out. 
And that's what I really uh, pray for you. So I want to just close with a blessing and encourage you today. Trust God no matter what the circumstances are, and he will send protection around you and give you peace. Father, I thank you for each one watching. I bless them. I pray that you surround them with those angels as you're continually doing. Watch over them and their families, their homes, their lives, their prosperity, their jobs, and their health. And put protection around them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.